Hello Internet World and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. In today's video I'm showing you the most economical photo printer that I have reviewed on the channel to date. And if you watch my videos regularly you'll have actually seen me review one of these printers, not a photo printer but certainly an Epson EcoTank printer on the channel before. It was one of their workforce range and I still use that today. Uh, the reason I still use it is because it is super economical to run. Now more often than not with inkjet printers or they used to be called bubble jet printers back in the day uh, you associate the high cost of ink cartridges with printers like that. Uh, you, I get often asked can I use third party ink cartridges and yes you can uh, but I always recommend using original manufacturer ink cartridges. The ink is uh, really refined to the actual manufacturer's paper and you often get better results. Well Epson really took the ball by the horns and, and switched things up a few years ago when they introduced their first EcoTank printer. It only used four different coloured inks so it was primarily suited to sort of business graphics and printing out sort of bulk documents. And then I reviewed one of their workforce printers and that was equally as good. It added in sort of multi-function uh, purpose as well so we could actually scan and copy and it is a really good printer and in fact with that printer I got two sets of inks and I'm still using the first lot. I haven't topped it up and that was probably I'm guessing about nine months ago maybe a year ago so it just shows how long these inks last and this one is no different this one comes with two sets of inks you can see the spare set just here and what makes this a little bit different to the other eco tank printers is it uses a standard black cyan magenta and yellow but you also get an additional black so it's five colors and this is a photo black and this is enhances photos when you print them out increased contrast increased detail in that black area and just gives it overall that much better photographic look and i think it was about three four weeks ago i had a question in from one of you guys and it was saying you, you know can i buy this epson eco tank printer it's just a standard model and print out photos and i said well you can but you're not going to get fantastic results well now thanks to this the et7750 you can get good results when printing out photos. Now I'm going to show you on screen in a short while all of the specifications. I'm also, a little sneak peek, going to show you some photos printed on the printer as well. Uh, but I want to give you a quick guide around it, just uh, some of the features that I've really appreciated. The first thing, now obviously it's A3, so that's really good. So you're not stuck to just printing A4 uh, photos. You can actually print out up to A3 size. So that's really good. And the paper actually goes in at the back here and you can adjust the size of this back portion, uh, pull up a guide etc and actually put in A3 paper very very easily. The second feature that I really liked, uh, not so much for photo printing but for copying, is this lifts up to reveal the scanner bed but it also hinges backwards as well so you can actually put a book in there so it sort of hinges backwards probably just under an inch so you can accommodate sort of larger documents on the scanner bed so that's another really nice feature uh, also the connectivity is good but I'll cover that when I run through the main specifications with you we have also got some additional connectivity on the front which is really nice to see we've got an SD card slot so you can print direct from an SD memory card and we've also got a USB uh, port down the bottom here so if you've got photos stored or documents stored on a flash drive like a USB memory stick you can plug that in the front for really easy printing from there as well Loading up the paper is super easy. Let me just move my prints, which I'm going to show you very shortly. Uh, this flaps down to reveal loading up for paper, and you can also pull it out. It just sort of pulls out from the body of the print. So we've got adjusters in here as well. Hidden underneath here is also a CD or DVD holder, so you can print direct to disc. I used to do that a lot. Uh, back in the day. I haven't done that for a while but at least you have got that feature and I get asked that a lot when I'm doing printer reviews is can you print direct to disc so it's obviously still a thing. We also have got this panel here which again I really like instead of it staying just sort of flat to the body of the print you can raise and lower it as well and we've got all of the buttons you need here for controlling the printer little colour screen in the middle and everything's laid out super super easy to actually navigate around the uh, various menus. So before I actually show you 
the specifications and those all important photos that I printed out. I want to say a big hello to everyone who's tuned in. This is a live broadcast, so thank you very, very much for tuning in. A big good morning to Golden Solution, Connor Morris, Kiki. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Connor Morris says it's kind of uh, like a canny resemblance to the Epson Stylus XP305. Yes, it is. I think it's probably a bit bigger. And actually, saying it's bigger, it probably is bigger than the XP305. But I was really surprised. It's got a very small footprint for an A3 printer. I was expecting it to be a bit bigger than it actually is. So anyway, let's jump over to the Epson website. We can take a look here at the printer up a little bit closer. Uh, you can see here the selling price is 699 If you do a quick search, you can find it for cheaper than that online. I have left links to both the Epson website and also where you can pick this up for yourself down in the video description. Now, if we scroll further down, this just gives you some of the features. A3 cartridge-free model, very important. You can print up to 3,400 photos between refills. That is absolutely amazing. It makes it very economical to use. We've also got here, if I scroll down, the key features. So it uses four dyes and a pigment ink for great results. So they're dye-based inks and then a pigment ink, which I believe is that photo black. Uh, here's some little images of the printer as well. You can see it with the tray up at the back to support the paper. Paper obviously exits at the front. And then this is where we can refill the ink cartridges. Actually at the front you refill them using the bottles. And then I wanted to show you the main tech spec. So this is the technology it uses. So 360 nozzles on the black, 180 for the color, 5760 by 1440 DPI, and application home or photo. So it's ideal for doing sort of uh, business charts, letters, and then when you use that photo paper, you can get really good photo quality prints. And of course, it's an all-in-one, so you can print, scan, and copy as well. Uh, printing, 13 pages per minute in black and white, 10 in color. Um, and then we've also got, if you're using uh, plain paper, so just sort of business documents, uh, up to 28 pages per minute, which is absolutely phenomenal. Very, very good indeed. It also does duplex printing as well, 5.4 pages per minute in black and white and 4.5 in color. We can scan, of course, uh, 300 DPI scan speed there, 0.8 milliseconds per line. Scanning resolution is actually 1200 by 2400. And the paper handling, so it doesn't just handle A4 size paper, it handle letter all the way through all these custom sizes, even envelopes, all the way up to A3. So it's got a wide, uh, decent amount of paper sizes that it can actually use and then the weight is really impressive as well uh, they used to these this sort of printer used to top out around about 260 grams this will print 64 to 300 grams also automatic duplex borderless print right up to the edges which i'll show you in a short while cd and dvd print and you can use speciality media in that rear feed as well if we go into general you can see some of the general information here. Connectivity, I wanted to talk to you about. This will actually connect via USB, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, Wi-Fi Direct, and USB host. Now, Wi-Fi Direct means that you don't have to connect it to your uh, router first. You can connect direct to the printer, which is really very, very good indeed. And then the included bottle yield, 3,400 photos across the uh, ink that they include. And then ink and accessories, you can see the cost of the bottles here, far cheaper than the ink cartridges. Uh, there's also a maintenance box. that uh, You get one supplied with the printer, but there's an additional one there. But the actual ink bottles are reasonably priced here on the Epson site. But again, if you check out those links in the video description, I have seen these cheaper online. So anyway, let's come back to the all important bit as to how well it prints. Now I've used many, many printers. I've been, don't forget, I've been doing these videos on YouTube for 12 years now, and I've reviewed and used a lot of photographic equipment, a lot of photo printers. Uh, part of my history is I used to be a graphic designer, so I used to work in the, in the sort of industry that used really high-end printers as well. And I've grown accustomed to being able to tell if something's good or not with tonality, detail in dark areas, contrast, accuracy. And uh, I must say that I am impressed. I'm going to show you two photos. 
Uh, this one here, I wanted to just see how well it picked out the detail in the front compared to the blurred background. And it is a really good rendition of this photo. Uh, I picked out some older photos as well, just ones that I really do like. And it, it is just so good. Very, very good tonality. So much detail. Uh, really picked out all of the sort of stitching in this um, wetsuit as well. And it's just a fantastic, fantastic job. Really good quality. And then this next one I picked out purely because I wanted to see how it handled sort of greens and also this detail in the bark area. And that's this one here. And again, the actual print quality on this is very, very good indeed. I'm really very, very impressed. The whole mood of the photo has been captured very well. And the detail in this grass area at the front is superb. So it's done a really, really good, uh, decent uh, picture here as well. And this is printed on Epson Glossy photo paper. So again, this is where I was reiterating to use uh, original manufacturer inks because they really do work well with the original manufacturer photo paper as well. So I'd suggest sticking to the Epson inks here getting some decent Epson photo paper for printing out photos. Regular paper is fine, just regular bog standard 80 gram uh, copier or inkjet paper that you can buy in a ream, sort of 500 sheets for like three, four, five pounds, absolutely fine for day-to-day -day use. And you're gonna get good economical use out of this anyway, doing day-to-day -day prints. But if you're printing a photo and you want really good quality, you know, something like this, you want something that you're gonna maybe frame and really keep for a long, long time, then it's well worth investing in uh, proper Epsom paper. So that is pretty much it for this review. Oh, one thing to touch on, I didn't test the CD DVD printing, but I've got no doubt that it works. Uh, something I was asked in one of my previous reviews that I didn't mention, I almost forgot, which is scanning and uh, copying quality. I tested the scanning feature and it scanned really well. Uh, I would say equally as good as some of the standalone scanners that Epson also manufacture. And with regards to copying quality, copying things like a, I normally do a test on like a magazine cover, really very, very good quality as well in the copying, nice and fast. And just so convenient, the fact that you've got this multi-function uh, device that you can scan, copy and print from and do photos from and all of those connectivity options makes it a really good choice. So anyway, that is it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments at all, please do pop them down in the comment section below. I answer pretty much all of them. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I publish a new tech video, sometimes multiple tech videos, every single day. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next one.